Hey guys, I think I'm delayed. <laughs> Trying to go live on Instagram. So I got my Instagram right here and go live on Facebook. Okay, so it looks like it's working. It was not working initially. Um, and I know I'm a day late. We'll talk about that <laughs> and talk about a bunch of other things. But we are here today to talk about trending topics posts. So for those who are new to the group, those who are just checking me on Instagram kind of for the first time or next time or whatever, I am Akila Tompkins Robinson. I am the um, owner, founder, whatever you call me here at Girl Get Visible and the author of, which I don't have one, usually I have one in, in my vision, but I don't, but the author of my SEO workbook and what I do, my whole goal here and on Instagram, because that's right right now, um, but the whole goal of my business is to help you guys to get out there, get down and get visible. Also, um, to really help you to use your voice and use your strengths and use everything that you have, your expertise. You guys all have businesses. You guys all are building audiences. You guys all have an expertise in something somewhere that we need to get out there. We need to get it shining. We need to get it in front of people. We need to get people to hear you and see you and all that other good stuff. So what I do in my business is I give you the tools, the strategies, the hopefully some of the confidence and the things that you need in order to get out there. So what I've been doing for the month of August, this is our content August month here in my group. So you guys are on Instagram. You might want to head on over to my group on Facebook. I'm going to tell you about some good things that are there for you. But um, on Facebook, my SEO growth mob group. So you go on Facebook with SEO growth mob and you will see it. And it has been content August. And what I've been doing is dropping a free template once a week. Usually it's on Monday, but... <laughs> So usually it's a Make Noise Monday where I drop a free template for 24 hours. So just 24 hours you have to go over there and grab this content. Um, I had a little delay yesterday. I went to a really big conference this weekend. It was virtual. So I did not leave my house, but I did leave my family for a couple of days. And yesterday, my little person, guys, some of you guys might have a five-year-old, my little person wanted his mom back. And so I did not stay in my office all yesterday. And so pretty much I was a day late in some of the stuff. So I do appreciate the, you guys and the group extending that grace. But yeah, I was not, I did not leave the house, but I left them and apparently they felt it. <laughs> and so, you know, sometimes duty calls, the mom duty calls. And so he did. And so I decided, you know what, I'm not going to do too much work today. I'm going to hang out in the living room with him, hang out in the rest of my house. I like, I only see this office most of the time, that's rare. But I'm going to hang out in the rest of my house and spend time with him and I did. And so today, which is good for the Instagram folks, I said, you know what, let me talk to you guys about what we're going to talk about tonight too. So today, it's just like Monday, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> so I just dropped a new free template in the group. So like I said, if you guys aren't in the group, you should join the group now, go over to SEO Growth Mob, because that's where there's a free template, like no opt-in, no nothing. If you're in the group, you get the template, just head on over to the file section. It will be there for 24 hours. So that means tomorrow night at about nine-ish. So if you're watching this later, I'm sorry, um, but I'll tell you guys another way to get to them later. But um, right now, 24 hours, it's going to be gone. And so tomorrow night, about nine-ish, it is going to poof, disappear and going away, go away. And today's template or this week's template, I'm really excited about because this is right on top of something that we talked about last week. So last week I did a content alert um, or content idea alert in the group. And I talked about the fact that Kamala Harris had just been, um, I was going to say initiated, not really initiated, but she had just been tapped or tagged as the VP pick for Joe Biden. So she is now the, and I think she's the first African-American woman to get a, a VP um, pick for a major, I'm trying to think of the whole title of her first, right? For a major party. So a pretty big deal, pretty big deal on so many levels, but she just got picked for the VP pick. And I'm going to tell you, this would have been a trending topic, no matter who he picked. There would have been something we can talk about. And that's what I'm going to talk about with what we did in this post or what we're doing in this post here, um, is that you can find some good thing that people can learn, people can talk about from just about any trending topic. But this one, a pretty decent one, especially if your audience is women, if your audience is black women, if your audience is um, more like conscious, you know, woke, <laughs> woke folks who care about politics, care about 
the way the world is going right now, this is going to be a really good topic for you. Even if now, even if it's something like your audience, I know you're thinking like, well, I got product businesses. So maybe you sell jewelry or maybe you sell um, dresses or you sell something like that. It's also still going to be good for you. It's going to be good for just about, I can't too many industries that this is not going to be a plus for because she's got so many things going on in her life. She went to an HBCU. She's college educated to begin with. I mean, most VP picks are, but you know, women in leadership education, that's kind of amazing. She's, um, she's, you know, been in politics. She's been in a couple of other, uh, different roles and stuff like that. So talking about those things, she, um, I'm almost sure she's married. <laughs> I don't know, but so much, but she's also in a sorority. I will tell you that. So, you know, the fact that she's a sorority girl. So that means she's got, you know, the whole social access, um, act, um, aspect of things in her life. And she's been like a sorority girl most of her life. She actually came in in college, similar to myself who came into my sorority in college. Um, but that means, you know, when you come in through college, let me tell you guys, like not that there's a difference between grad or college too much, but just the sheer amount of time that you've been in the organization. That means like I am 41, I'm gonna tell you guys I'm 41, um, but that means I've been in my organization for half my life, you know, because I came in when I was 19. So not even the fact of who came in when, just the fact that you've been in your thing almost all of your life, like it's kind of almost crazy now that I'm older, but so she's got that aspect. So there's so many things that, um, hey, Ronnie, how you doing? Fitness, she's gonna, she, she, she's pretty fit herself now, but I'm sure she's gonna need to stay fit. So there's so many aspects of her life that any, just about any business or any industry can draw on and use it as a trending topic in what they talk about. So let's talk about what's a trending topic post. And this is what you'll read in the template that I gave you guys. So the template, and for you guys who have not grabbed one of my templates yet, these templates are the bomb. Like, I'm not just saying it because I, I wrote them. <laughs> I'm also saying them because, you know, I'm writing them. And literally, I use this template to write a post about Kamala Harris. Like, I literally, because I did not already have one um, completed. So I was like, you know what? I'm already doing the template. Let me practice what I preach. Let me use my stuff to do the thing. You know what I mean? So I literally was, as I was typing it, and you'll see it in the examples, you actually see what is going to be my post about Kamala Harris and about what's going on. So, Hey, Shiva, how are you doing? A couple of things about uh, trending topics. The reason why we do trending topic posts are because that's something that everyone's talking about. You want to not only just be the person like sharing your information all the time and sharing about your industry, but you also want to make sure that you're like not necessarily not tone deaf, but that you're also tying it into what's going on in the real world and what's going on to what's relevant to your people. So like not every trending topic is going to be everything for everybody, like things that are happening here in New York, like folks may not care so much in California. So maybe that won't be something you'd want to talk about. But things like this that get like a national attention, um, like I said, I, I point out a couple of groups that this would be like really big for them, like sorority, um, HBCUs, just college educated, African-Americans, women, politics, like there's just so many levels that this is going to be really, really good for, um, that you want to make sure that you're kind of keeping your finger on the pulse of things and bringing it into the relevance for your audience, whatever area she lives in. Like, I don't know exactly where she lives. I know she's in California, but I don't know exactly where she lives. But, you know, if I was somebody who was talking about real estate, I would start talking about, you know, what are the neighborhoods that your presidential picks would live in? Like, you want your kids going to school with other presidents, like future presidential picks, that kind of thing. Um, or what's it going to impact? you know, property values. Like, so when somebody like, you know, gets one a, a political nod of this level, how does that change the, poly, the property values in the area? Like, so if I was in real estate, I would definitely like bring that in as a, tr as a trending topic. If I was in, and I don't think I gave this full example, but if I was like jewelry or clothing, she's gonna have to get dressed. And I know, I know with Hillary Clinton, people were like, why are you talk so much about what she wears? It's because people care. It because straight up, people just care. Like, I'm sorry for the fellas, but we just don't care about the suits that they wear. But we absolutely care about the cute suits that women wear. Like we do. People want to be like them. People want to dress like them. So you can definitely pull that in as a trending topic. So there's gonna be so many trending topics like about her overall, and there's just so many other trending topics that are going on. There's so many things that are going on every single day in the news, in the news feed that you can pull out and take one of those trending topics, and make it relevant 
to your business. So one of my, um, actually, you yeah, have pretty two pretty good um, trending topics that did really well. One was Tyler Perry. It's I did as actually a podcast episode. So I use the same formulas when I do some of my, my podcast episodes. I just kind of would write it out and then talk about it. But what I did when Tyler Perry made that speech at the BET Awards, was the BET Awards? I'm almost sure it was BET Awards. But he made the speech about making your own table and instead of trying to get a seat at someone else's table, making your own table, blah, 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 blah. And that's all everybody was talking about. You know, everybody needs to do this. And they were just like jumping on board of Tyler Perry's whole thing that he said. And so I made a point because my goal in life, like I told you guys in the beginning of this, is to help you get your voices out there. So I'm all about, and I'm looking back at both of you guys, Instagram and Facebook, I'm all about helping you get your voice out there, right? So I made a point, an observation that everyone is talking about what Tyler Perry said and talking about how they want to do what Tyler Perry did. But they are essentially doing exactly not doing what he said. He said, make your own table. He ain't say jump on your own. <laughs> he did not say go jump on jump on the thing he just said. What he said was make your own table. He did not say, you know, jump on my bandwagon now. So people just really went from one table to his table. And so that was my whole podcast episode, like the lessons learned, really doing what he said and those kind of things. And so I did a whole podcast episode about that, that today, to this day, that was like, I don't even know if it was a full year ago yet, but it was a while ago. It was at least months. Actually, it could have been a year ago. So I remember watching the replays at my cousin's house on 4th of July. So it must have been like last June that that whole um, thing happened. And to this day, I still get downloads. Still get downloads for that one trending topic. And of course, when it was brand new, it got a lot of, lot of downloads for that. Um, another one I did was about the Royal Wedding and I don't even remember, you know, and I, 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 so it's about the Royal Wedding. It wasn't technically like, it wasn't as close to the thing about the Royal Weddings, but I like took some of the things that they did to market and get their, um, you know, the buzz about the Royal Wedding out there. And so I use it as, you know, are you giving your business marketing the Royal treatment where, where are you building buzz for your business? And I talked about all the things they did leading up to the Royal Wedding that built the buzz for the Royal Wedding. Like they didn't even let it rest on the fact that it was the Royal Wedding. They did all this other stuff. And so I kind of pointed those things out in this particular trending topic post that I did. And so, and that's another one that did really, really well. So those are kind of things you can do with the trending topics. Pull it out, make it relevant to your business. That's really what you're doing with these posts. Um, some of the important things, is, and the reason why we do it is because, of course, people like to hear these things, like to read these things. It also shows that you're really an authority in your space. You know what's going on. You can make connections. So you see things that other people may not see, um, you know, like, so everybody else is looking at it just a wedding or just a VP pick. And you're like, less like, look, don't miss these things that are happening. So you're making that relevant connection for people. Um, so that's another thing. Build your authority. The other thing, of course, because we're talking about SEO and how we rank in search, is that it does really well in search. But caveat, it does really well in search for a short period of time. And most things we do, we want long term. So that most things are like regular topics, we want long term. But every once in a while, you want to add a little like lighter fluid onto the fire. You know how when you got a grill going, it's the summertime, right? You got a grill going and it's kind of like a little going down, like the fire is kind of getting kind of calm and you put some lighter fluid on it so it can kind of go and spark up. That's exactly what trending topics do to you. If you've got a, a really good trending topic and you get it out there and you'll see all this stuff in the template, I give you some guidelines on when to put it out there, what to talk about. Like I give you everything in the top in the template. But if you've got a good trending topic, it is going to catch fire. It's going to make that real good spark up. And what happens when that spark up happens is some of that residual flame stays on your site. So imagine if you've got a spark up every, you know, every other month, every few months, and that residual, some of that residual flame keeps staying on your site. That is overall going to help you be a stronger and better site. You guys see how that worked? Because it's something that people are immediately going to be searching for. I'll never forget a couple of years ago, a lot of years ago, did I even have the babies in? It was a lot of years ago. This is when I was doing more, um, I was actually doing web design and blogging for my web design company. And something, there was a big, uh, I don't even know, it was some, some big hacker attack that attacked WordPress sites. And literally, I think I might've seen it when I first woke up. I am one of those people who look at my phone when I first wake up. I am. 
<laughs> I like I stopped even apologizing or trying to fight it. I just looked. So I woke up, I saw that this thing was happening and I immediately popped on, like literally I remember at my aunt in-law's kitchen table, like typing up a blog post real quick and they thought I was crazy. Like, why are you sitting up here, you know, first thing in the morning? Like, is this really what it's like <laughs> at home with y'all? But you just like, first thing you do is jump on and do a blog post. And so they thought I was a little crazy, which was okay. But that blog, that one blog post, because I got it out there like first thing in the morning, whatever was happening, happened like overnight. And I think sites were even still down. Like it was still in the middle of happening as I was writing about it. And I wrote like, you know, what was happening? Why this is important? What are some quick things that the entrepreneurs could do to protect their sites and then I you know close it out real quick gave them a call action blah 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 that that little blog post like in that week got me over like a thousand and some change hits like it just went because it was one of the first ones out there so when people were googling it and my site already had a pretty good google profile so it's like oh she got new stuff let me hop on and so when people were googling it they were googling about this issue my my post was coming up as one of the tops on that page and people were going to it and i got all these hits which of course i got my opt-in pop-in <laughs> um, all the other good things i got some opt-ins and that was really a good week and so while my in-laws probably did think um, and probably did feel a little like sad for their son at that moment. Um, but while they thought I was crazy, it really did some really good, good things for my site. So that's what a trending topic can do. That's another reason why when I see a good trending topic or something out there in my group, like I said, if you guys are on Instagram, make sure you join the SEO growth mob. That's where this template I keep talking about is. So if you guys are on Instagram, go over to the SEO growth mob. That's where you will find the template. You guys here in the growth mob, you guys know, look in the file section, it is there for the next 24 hours. So it's there for you guys. Um, so, you know, that is one of the reasons why anytime I see something, I'll put an alert in the group. Like in case you guys didn't see this or you're not thinking about this as content, because sometimes we like walk along as you know as consumers you know what i mean like oh this is this is nice and you're reading it you might even talk about it in some of like your local groups or whatever groups and you don't think oh let me see how i can make this part of my business how can this enhance my business and that's what i want to help you guys start have start having those thoughts like i see content ideas all the time <laughs> My members will tell you, I got the little meme with a little six cents boy that says, instead of saying, I see dead people, it says, I see content ideas, because I do. I see them all the time. And not that you have to be like the crazy content idea lady, like I am a little bit, <laughs> but I do want you to start seeing these things. I want you to start seeing that when a trending topic is happening, that this is something that you can make relevant to your space. You can jump on, you can educate. If it's anything that you get real passionate about, you probably want to make it into a blog post on your site because it's okay. And it's funny because when you read my post that I wrote about Kamala, I talked about her using her voice and using and being authentically herself and using that, pa that passion. And it's perfectly okay when you're passionate about something to use that passion to help to fuel your business and fuel content for your business or fuel things in your business. Some of us feel like, especially when I talk about blogging, people feel like, oh, I can only blog about certain things and I can only be like this like clean, vanilla, stick to the facts man type of blogger. And that's not really what people want. People want to hear your thoughts and your opinions on these things. You are the expert in this space. Whatever space you're in, I know I'm looking at the names here on Instagram. I know some of you guys. I'm looking at the names here on Facebook. I know some of you guys. You guys are the expert in your space. So when people see the expert in their space, they don't only want you to tell them the, you know, do A, B, C and tell you like the, the things to do. They also want your opinion because there's so many choices that someone can make. Should I do Instagram? Should I do Facebook? Should I worry about my email? Should I do work on this? Should I wear this dress this week or wear that dress next week? Like there's so many things, so many decisions that people have to make that they look to the experts they look to authorities to see, to just get ideas. Not to say they follow, some people do follow everybody, but that's all right. But a lot of them just to get ideas, to get encouragement, to get that push, to get that you know little head nod. And so you guys, you are the people to do that for them. You're the people that they want to look at. You're the people that they wanna hear the stuff from. You're, you're the person that's gonna build that connection. 
That's why we do these trending topics because someone's going to see Kamala Harris got picked the VP and they're going to think, oh, that was nice. You know, that's nice of her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now when they read my blog post, they're going to think, oh, she did use her voice back in the presidential debate. And she did meet him head on and she did still rise above and become the pick. Like she wasn't like, oh, I'm not going to say what I need to say because I'm not, I may not make it further in my political career. She wasn't, and I say she wasn't afraid of that, but she didn't let it hold her back. I'm sure she had those thoughts, <laughs> but she did not let her hold it back, hold her back. And these are some of the results. And so those are the connections you want to make for people. You want to make that connection from what's going on in the world to this is how they can help them. So like I was giving uh, Rodney's example um, earlier, Rodney does, um, he's a he's a trainer and does, you know, fitness and nutrition and stuff like that and helps people stay fit. This is a prime time to talk about what it's going to take to get to stay fit or be fit in what's going to be a pretty tumultuous time. It's going to be stressful, like most of us go through stress. So it's going to be stressful where people are going to be talking about her. People are going to be, you know, writing about her, like all these things. She's going to be traveling. How many people have that happen every day in their lives? where they're stressed about what's going on at work or they're stressed about what's going on with family members, you know, stressed about COVID, all of these things. So he can definitely make that, make that connection. Like, yes, we see Kamala and she's about to go through some stress, but hey, guess what? You're going through some stress too. And it's okay. I got some tips and I've got some ways that you can stay fit. Or for those people who want to stay fit like her. Like I know, I, I haven't really heard much about her fitness, but like Michelle Obama, we used to love to hear about her. <laughs> love to hear and you know who else people love to hear about Condoleezza when she was um when she was in the political scene people like I, I remember seeing so many pictures of her on the treadmill I don't know why we were so obsessed with her I think it's people who show their arms we get obsessed because they look at guns and stuff I don't know why we were so obsessed but we were um but those are examples of people who had these stressful lives and still were able to stay fit and you can make that connection for your people who are thinking of all these reasons why they can't be fit you can make this connection you can help them like if you want to look like her or something close you know everybody's body's different i don't know how that goes but if you want to look like something close these are some of the things that she does you can kind of already just make those connections or these are if you don't know her her regimen this is what i would recommend as you know, if I was her personal trainer, I always tell people like, if I was your coach, <laughs> I would tell you to. Da, 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 da. So you're like, you know, if I was her trainer, I would do XXX. And this is what you would put in your training topic. You would say, if I was her trainer, I would recommend these things for her nutrition. You know, keep some little snacks in a purse, you know, like Granny used to. That was a smart move. You know, keep, you know, the healthy snacks, keep some little healthy snacks not the hard candy, but keep little healthy snacks in her purse. I would recommend, you know, going to certain hotels that have a good gym. Like you can give all these tips and that way making this trending topic relevant for your people because now they're thinking, oh, I need healthy snacks. You know, I'm on the go. I travel. They're like, well, before, before, before COVID, before COVID, there were billions of, of business people who travel all the time who needed help. So you can kind of make that relevant. So Hopefully this little talk, um, you guys got all quiet on me. Let me know how you feel about this. Um, but hopefully this little talk is giving you lots of ideas on how you can use this trending topics post. Because trending topics, like I said in the beginning, they are just so powerful. So powerful for establishing your uh, authority um, and your credibility. They're so powerful for giving you that spark in the search engine, especially you get right on it. I will say we're a couple of days out from the announcement. So I want you guys to get on it very, very fast, but keep watching and keep listening. Like right now, the DNC um, convention's going on. She's going to be hot topic again um, as soon as like they make the announcement and they come out and they do the speeches and all other type of stuff. Be there with your pen and paper ready to pull in those lessons. Right now, everybody today was talking about Michelle Obama. Be there with your pen and paper ready to, to pull in those lessons and make them relevant for your people. They're, at least in the political scene alone, they're going to be hot topics almost every freaking day. All you got to do is write about some of them and keep throwing that fire, throwing that fire, throwing that fire onto your thing. Like you guys see what I'm doing right now. I'm using the fact that they are a hot topic to talk to you guys about trending topic posts. You see how that works? You see how smart that is? That's what I want you guys to do. I want you to make that connection, make it relevant for your people. So 
that is it for the night. Um, like I said, for those who are on Instagram, make sure you head on over to the group because I am giving away for the month of August, I am giving away a free template every, it was Monday, today's Tuesday, but next Monday will be Monday. But once a week, <laughs> once a week, I am giving away a free post, a free template for you to do a blog post. So last week we did the mistakes post. The week before that, we did the about page. This week we are doing trending topics. I've got another one for you next week. And I promised the group that if we make it to a thousand by the end of this month, which we are only about 250 away, so we're good. We're going to make it, right? If we make it to a thousand, I'm going to do a fifth free template. So you will get five free templates instead of just four, you know, four weeks in a month. There's actually a fifth Monday, not a fifth week, but a fifth Monday. And so um, if we make that thousand, I will give you another template for that fifth Monday. So head on over to the group on my Instagram folks, my group my folks that are here in the group, make sure you grab it. You know how the drill goes. Tell me I got it. So I know that you have grabbed the template and that you are off and running. And I want to start seeing some of the content you guys are creating out of this. Like I'm literally showing you guys in that template. I'm showing you the Kamala Harris that's going live this week. <laughs> that will be live on my site this week. I'm going to flesh it out a little bit more to it, and it will be live on my site this week. So I'm showing you guys exactly what I'm putting out. In addition, I'm going to put out this training. So those who are watching this training later on in YouTube know that this was all intentional. <laughs> all this talk about trending topics, this is all intentional. So I want you guys to grab it use it, love it, and the whole nine, tell your friends about it, tell them to come over here, make sure that they're grabbing their free templates, them free templates, I can't even say it, we've got a couple of more weeks, and like I said, at the end, so if you missed some, don't worry, I got you, at the end, I've got a super cool tool, I'm telling you, you might give you a little sneak preview next week, let me know in the comments if you guys want a sneak preview next week, if you guys want a sneak preview next week, I'm going to give you a sneak preview next week, um, of where we're going with these templates and how you can get all the templates um, and plus some more. It's going to be some really dope stuff. So let me know in the comments if you want a, a sneak peek. I will be looking. And then next Monday, I'll, I'll let you know what we get based on the results. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.